Okay, um, on this video we're going to show you, it's going to be real quick, we're just going to go over how to generate G-code and then we're going to talk about job quoting a little bit and how SheCam can make that process easier for you. So go ahead and open SheCam and we have this file here again, we're using this one just so you're familiar with um, everything that we did in it, we're just going to carry it through a lot of these episodes. So we go to generate our, our G code we're gonna go ahead and go once all this is done up to this post process this little green P you can do this one of two ways you can go and hover over it and click it or you can go to file click file and the first one that pops up is run post processor and click that so once you click it it saves it as a tap file this is the file that you're gonna use in Mach 3 um, it's your G code file so you just it sets it as a default under the name that you saved it as in your your drawing file so we go ahead and click save it generates the g-code post processing complete and we are good to go now one thing um, I will mention when you are running Mach 3 and if you bring it up and you're bouncing back between your file and SheCam or Mach 3 and SheCam and you're just getting used to it sometimes you might leave this file open in Mach 3 and you'll know what I'm talking about as you get more um, fluent with running your CNC machine but basically if you have this file open in Mach 3 and you try to save it or alter it in SheCam and re-save your post process or your G-code file it won't allow you to because it's still running in Mach 3 so you need to make sure that you close out your file in Mach 3 before you try before you try to save it or repost process it in SheetCamp so um, we'll go ahead and so that that's basically that's all there is to generating your G code you just go up here you click post process you save it you replace it yes and that's it so you'd open that up in Mach 3 and you're ready to cut once you set your zeros. Now, over here, um, we're going to go over some job quoting stuff. Now, if you look off to this side, you see this little piece of paper and pencil. This is your job report. This is a real convenient tool in SheetCam. If you open it up, um, so this, it brings up this little page here, Pierce time and tool change time you throw that in that's in seconds so this might be how long it takes say you're you're doing this big job you're loading up different sheets different thicknesses of sheets and it might take you sixty uh... you know one minute to change your tip so you do sixty oh, sixty sixty seconds it's going to account that in for tool changing times um, back to five um, and then for rapid speeds, that's just how quick your your Z rapid clears to to jump out of the way for those tipped parts. But all this stuff, after you start to cut larger um, sets of parts for people, you might want to uh, change your rapid speed. Or this basically just shaves down time, and all of this comes into account when you're trying to quote a job. So if you click OK it'll bring up this job report and these are nice because you can print these out for a customer and let them see exactly what they're getting charged for um, your basically summary of all this is on your second page so if we go to that you have um, these are convenient these are your job measurements so say you're just cutting out this sign and you can't remember how big it was uh, say the customers not too concerned they just want it they bring you a sheet of steel that's however big you open up this file you don't know how big it is you can jump to this sheet and you can see on it right here it says job width 36 and just about 36 inches that's the overall width of the sign and then the height is 12.4 so right off the bat you could say oh well I have this piece of steel the customer brought me um, I wanna be able to see if it'll fit on there if it doesn't, then I can go and open up my vector software without bringing it into Mach 3 and and running your machine around. You can in SheCam you can access the dimensions, which is nice. 
Um, and then as you start nesting files or adding multiple things to this workspace, it'll tell you the overall dimensions of your cutting, everything that you're cutting. So that's convenient. Um, then it gives you your area too. So, and then down here, you have job time. So uh, 283.8 seconds is your job time. So say you want to charge somebody, um, you know, uh, however much per second. And we don't do a lot of job quoting here, but you, a lot of places they'll charge um, the amount of the distance. So you could go based off distance in inches, they'll charge some places charge up to two three dollars per inch that is cut depending on the material and the thickness um, you know you basically just multi multiply this value by however much you want to charge per inch and then you have that ballpark figure um, same thing with time you can divide this time by 60 get your minutes and now you're you know you can start to quote jobs and it'll make that a lot simpler for you so that's a great tool to, to learn how to use get fluent in. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, those are some, some good things to know and to get good at and it'll definitely help your your job, your productivity, um, uh, professionalness. There's a lot of cool stuff in SheCam and we'll go over some more stuff in in uh, the later videos. So. Thanks for watching. This is Quickman's Metalworks, and we hope you enjoy your new CNC plasma table.